Hey guys, so today I'm showing you how to make samosa and spring roll wrap using the liquid method. Very easy, no stress, and you have beautiful and excellent results. All you need to do is to gather your ingredients together. And I'm making use of one cup of flour, one over four teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one and one over four cup of water. Mix the flour, salt, and vegetable oil together. Mix properly, and then what you need to do is to add water. You need to mix this very well to avoid any form of lumps. You need a smooth consistency. You can place this in a blender or use a hand mixer to mix well. Transfer to a sieve and sieve out. Butter should have this consistency just like mine. Place water in a pot and allow to boil. Scoop the liquid butter and place in a non-stick pan. Spread it around, make sure all parts of the pan are properly covered. Remove excesses if there's any. Make sure you don't remove too much butter. Go around it to ensure the pan is properly covered. Your pan should be properly covered like this, or even better. <laughs> Place on top of the boiling water and leave to dry. Please note it takes two processes for the batter to completely dry. This is the first part. Don't remove the butter from the pan in this first part. If you do, you have a very messy wrap. Just hold on, yes. <laughs> Until you have a second result like this. <laughs> remove from the heat, allow to cool for 40 seconds or one minute before gently Peeling off from the pan. You can see it right so beautiful. Place in a dry surface and brush round with little oil. Please emphasize is on little oil. Do not use too much oil, just dab your brush. 
and the oil and just brush around gently it also help the wrap not to dry out you know someone says spring roll wrap can dry out easily so do this to avoid that and cover with a clean towel too in order for it not to dry repeat the same process before repeating the same process make sure you clean your pan and allow the pan to cool before adding another batter if you don't allow your pan to cool it will just start cooking at once and messy messy mess up on there So I have some rules to keep at, but don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so I can get notified of when I drop new videos. So the rules, like I told you before, your batter should be smooth. Use a scoop that can go around the pan. I'm using a 30 centimeter non-stick pan. So whatever scoop you know that can go around your pan, make use of that. Your pan shouldn't be hot, like I said earlier. Your pan shouldn't be hot before adding the next butter. Always check the boiling water to ensure that it hasn't dried out. And very important, there are two stages for the butter to dry up well. So ensure you take note of that. Coat the wrap with little oil. Repeat the same process until the batter is completely exhausted. So the next thing to do is to wrap your samosa and spring roll. This is actually a bonus. In Nigeria, it is called a <laughs> Cut off the dry edges and cut the wrap into two. This is for the samosa wrap. Form into a cone. That's like a triangle form.
forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's free of charge, and turn on your notifications so I can get notified of when I drop new videos. I'm also going to be having an online class on how to make samosa and spring roll wrap using three different methods. The kneading method, the liquid method, like this one, and the brushing method. It will be an intensive, detailed class. So just comment to my Instagram at Teresa Metuka or Facebook page at Teresa Metuka. I'm going to be dropping the full details very soon. You really don't want to miss this class. Do you know you can share this video to your loved ones, relatives, your friends, and your colleagues? Yes, just click on the share button and share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any question regarding to this video, you can just comment below and definitely respond to every message.